Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so as many of you might have noticed, we do have a new format on MTG Arena. It's M20 Standard. What it is is it's removing all of the cards that we're going to be uh, losing after rotation. Uh, so this is going to give us a much better look at what Standard is going to be like in the upcoming months, minus Eldraine. So my plan is for the next couple of videos is to show you guys some of the lists that I've been playing with. A lot of them are viewer submitted. Not all of them are super competitive. A lot of them are just kind of fun. This will allow you guys to grind out some of that experience that you might need to finish out your rewards uh, for the XP chart. It gives you all of the packs and gold and all that kind of good stuff. So check these decks out. Hopefully uh, some of them will work for you guys. Leave your comments down below and the deck lists will be in the info section. Thank you guys for checking out the video and I hope you enjoy the deck. Guys, let's give this Demir deck another try. Again, it is a viewer submitted list. If you guys are interested, you guys can check down below in the info section or in the Discord uh, info section here on YouTube or uh, Discord if you guys are here on Twitch. This looks like an okay keep. This is a vampire, so we just need a land, any land. If not, one drop, thought erasure is pretty good. Ooh, but I don't like the shock options here, right? A little sketch. No shock, no shock, no shock. Boo! I think we had to run it in there. Could have waited, but I think our curve option here is just too good. So does this look like elementals? To any target, that card's pretty good. Counterspell's pretty good. The counterspell's pretty sketchy for the Liliana. Narset's pretty bad for me. You know, he can't target this. Maybe just Narset's bad. We do have quite a few cards that draw us cards. Hopefully we can force him to discard the Sabotage before Liliana's ever an option. Actually just played the Soren to force the counter there. So here's another question: why didn't he play? Why didn't he play uh, his land? Or did he? Kind of forgot who was even on the play. This doesn't target it. He did draw a second Sabotage, all right. But that's all right. Ideally, the list won't have another one, or won't have another type of counter. And if he has three Sabotages in the first 10 cards, then so be it. First 14 cards. But we do have to hit the land first. No! Counter target spell. Damn it. Brutal. You can counter this. So I think he's just gonna hold this open forever, right? Hmm. Hey, Junk, welcome. Thank you so much for the first time Prime sub. 
You have a raffle ticket to Friday's mystery drawing. This looks like a good counter target. Let's get it out of his hand. He knows we can actually just sabotage it too. I do still play WoW. We play about twice a week. I think this is worth landing. Beacon Bolt, all right. Beacon Bolt's only creatures, right? Target creature, yep. So that's not gonna be relevant at all. So he, we are one card short of perfect information. Did you draw another counter off the top? You did. We did it, we, we set it up as best we could, guys. We really, really did. We waited, we were patient, we baited out the other counter, and we just gave him one draw step. He showed us the negate. And we could have played it a little bit slower maybe, getting the like, campaign back with this, and you know, spending two more turns. Oh, I guess, but I mean, it's not great. Uh, there are two sub channels. There's a there's a stick here, so he's got something. So we play into the sabotage around the negate. Because we knew whatever it was could counter this, but we didn't know if it could counter this. He's gonna let it resolve, which is kind of nice. Beacon Bolt doesn't work. Yeah, if you're in the, the channel, there's voice sub channels and then there's sub stuff. Niv Mizzet seems really bad. How do you like this list? Um, this is only like our second or third game or whatever with it. Getting to play it fully. He's shocking me. That doesn't stop Niv Mizzet's ability, which is bad. Hey, Black, nice. I'm glad you decided to give it a try. Not being able to counter Niv, not that I had the mana open at the time anyway, but it's still pretty savage. Pretty sure we have no outs here. I don't think I have any removals. Spells, ugh.
Liliana and Neg four would do it. That's assuming he doesn't have another counter, which like, you know, he had all of them. I think that was the, the one option that we had. Like, I think we played very well around his counter spells uh, in the beginning of the game and just got really punished. For pretty close to no reason. What happened? I'm confused. We're glitched. All right. Hmm. So we're doing really bad with the deck against the flash deck. We're doing really bad with the deck against Niv Mizzet. <laughs> Look at the. What is with this watery grave? What is going on with this title? There it goes. Weird. Chance that that's no good. So next turn he would have four gates. So we could save the pump. I think we just hope he doesn't have a gates one time. It's not great. But if he plays gates of blaze on this one creature, we could have saved it by pumping it in response, but then we're just progressing nothing forever. And also, um, we could hit him for extra two damage here and get the counter. Hold open the sabotage, maybe that's right, and we're not progressing the board then either. Maybe that's right, but we would just be doing that forever with no, no potential future play. Uh, it's kind of scary. I'm hoping... He'll want to wait. Try to get another creature out of it. Gatebreaker Ram. All right, that's fine. I'm okay to kill this gate rigger ram. He forgot about the pump and got a shame concede. I like it. I'm all about it. Woo, gotta win. He did miss his fourth land drop. Opponent, make a play. 
you know what you guys can do while we're waiting for our opponent to make a play you guys can check out our sponsor card kingdom links below in the description of the video guys and links below on the bottom of the twitch channel make sure you guys check them out they do make the content possible uh -huh. what you gonna do man He's gonna mulligan. Fantastic. I'm all about it. I'm already winning. All right. I like it. We could take his two drop. Wow, these are all three drops. It's crazy. No. Hmm. So he's for sure doing something next turn. Okay, life. We can counter it. But you know what? He doesn't have a black source. Okay, we're gonna campaign. We want to get into the Liliana faster. He, there's a chance he doesn't draw the Black Source. Yes, we got him. All right. Now I'm gonna just sit with, I'm not even gonna activate this. I'm just gonna sit with the Sabotage. Can we just end the game with Liliana? If he ever manages to get anything in play. That is black mana. I am fine with this, actually. I was tempted to let it resolve, but I don't think we actually need to. Because we could just Liliana it away next turn, but I think this is just better. Now that we drew this, this is absolutely better. This also kills his entire deck, which is great. Now we have perfect knowledge. Destroy target permanent. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, that seems fine. We'll kill that. Get rid of this. This should be around the time he scoops. We definitely ripped his hand apart. 
that was that was pretty savage and he already mold once oh, poor guy he did not have a great game he didn't even have a game and he was stuck on black for a turn like all right guys one more win can we do it for all of the bacons We're on the draw, so I think we can go ahead and play the vampire turn one, not play the tapped land. I think that's okay. Oh. Soot should be really good against him. I don't know what this is, but hopefully Soot just ends the game. So he has a stick here because I'm guessing he can sacrifice the torch carrier is why it's sticking here. Instead of auto passing. Maybe we just get a free win. Scoop them all up. Yep. I'm assuming he didn't mean to do that. value ripping apart his hand more than getting this guy bigger uh because he is stuck on land maybe that's not correct because it gets him out of shock range but i feel like if he had the shock he would have done it before uh or he would then do it and kill me now that also works <laughs> let's just go ahead and second campaign i could have waited to cast that just in case i drew another vampire that was a misplay so we got rid of some like actual cards three drop war boss is a great one for us to be able to get rid of here so we can Rip apart his hand. Oh, I almost got rid of the skewer on accident. So I think we just get rid of the war boss because he can't hard cast the skewer into the light up the stage if he hits his land. So it's just the war boss. It seems like we're just kind of dirtling around, which we kind of are, but we don't have any threats. Does anybody know? I think uh, Experimental Frenzy is still in this uh, standard 2020, right? So like as soon as he draws into those, we could be in some trouble. This is just like the new version of Mono Red. So we get the land. We definitely need a threat.
I could have gotten rid of all of his cards, but I feel like we can still do that this turn. He attacks the Lily, and he can't... If the opponent has lost life, so he can't skewer. I feel like what he should do is he should send these at me, not the Lily, because he's not going to be able to do enough damage to her anyway. Send these at me, light the stage, try to get, like, something going, try to get some, some land. And that looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. He'll probably be incentivized to cast whatever two drops he gets with the light up the stage, uh, as opposed to these cards. I like just holding open the counter here. Killing the Chandra. I don't think we're in any hurry. With the exception of Frenzy, we, we win the long game. This land is uh, from the other thing. We can't get it out of his hand. If we Even if we had played the Thought Erasure first, really no point. I'm also fine with him having that. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. You got it, man. Sorry, bud. Bad game for him. I mean, I'm just gonna keep playing cards because, like, he hasn't conceded. I feel like it's one of these things where it's like, I still have all of these. But that's not really what I'm trying to do. But I can't stop playing until he concedes, so... He wants a good old-fashioned ass kicking to the very end. I guess I'm obliged to give it to him. You think he wants more YouTube time? Maybe he does. All right, guys. So we got the three wins. Started off a little shaky, but the deck's pretty fun, actually. I don't think it's quite as powerful as some of the other decks we've tried in the format, but um, I enjoyed it, actually, quite a bit. I think it needs some, like, larger single target removal. The soot is really cool. Um... I think I like maybe instead of the cry, because we have soot, maybe the cry will replace them with something that kills larger targets. But that said, we did, you know, three wins, which is really cool. Um, if you guys like the deck, you guys can check out the Discord. There is uh, all the deck lists in there. Or if you're on YouTube, down below in the uh, info section, uh, there'll be a link for you to click on to get the deck list there. And I'd love to hear what you guys think of it, again, either in the comments or in the Discord. Thank you guys for watching the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a good night.